Welcome everybody to tutorial number 10. On this tutorial we're going to add support systems for our little heat exchanger that we made. Uh, to begin make sure you are actually on the equipment layer uh, or the equipment layer is your current layer and uh, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do uh, we're going to switch our view. Uh, right now we kind of see a 3D representation of all of our objects. So um, under home ribbon and under visibility palette we're going to uh, not visibility sorry the view palette um, the very top drop down box right now it should say realistic or something else but we're going to choose the 2d wire frame as you can see once I selected it it kind of turns it into 2d wire frame it's still 3d but just it shows you the frame and nothing more which is helpful here and so and what we're going to do we're going to choose our top view Go ahead and top view. One thing I forgot to mention is how did those um, those dimensions that we chose for uh, for the heat exchanger actually meant. So uh, here is a little window that we had last time uh, made of Excel. So let's start from the left side. So number one is story spirit head. As you can see, this is this little bit here. This little bit. So the diameter was 500. Perfect. And the second bit of cylinder was 500 diameter 400 length that's from here to here and the next one was cylinder uh, oh yeah it was diameter was 600 and but the length was only 100 so 600 and 100 as you can see and the next one and so forth so that's what that represents I thought I just mentioned that because I might have forgotten to do that. Oh, actually, also another thing I forgot to do that is that to switch our user defined, make sure that our user defined coordinate system is exactly on top of this uh, first platform. To do that, we should restrict our views first. Uh, let's choose the grid and our heat exchanger and hide everything else. So again, to hide from home ribbon let's go to visibility palette and click on hide others perfect okay so let's go back to top view then perfect now we can see okay so um, one thing that I should mention here if you were to put let's per se on an actual plant a, 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 a heat exchanger and you need to know the supports you would always dimension uh, your your equipment support or the equipment center point or whatever from a grid line so you could have said like you know 600 millimeter the center point of the of the support for the heat exchanger uh, the first one is 600 millimeter away from this grid line here the horizontal one and and and, and let's say on and centered on the on the on, on the vertical one so that's perfect and then you would have known exactly where to put it and you would have put your heat exchanger on top but here we don't so we just kind of gonna approximate a position I kind of kind of figured that out a little bit so that should work so the first thing we're going to do um, under the structure ribbon oh no actually under the modeling ribbon um, and the modeling palette the very first one there is a, a button called box and if you hover over it it says what it is creates a 3d solid box that's all we're going to do because we don't need to actually design the support system for our heat exchanger what we're going to do is kind of approximate what it should look like either the vendor or a structural engineer would uh, would supply that uh, so first thing it asked me to do when I click on the box is specify the first corner but if you again go down to your command uh, prompt there's an option for center go ahead and choose center so we're going to specify a center so let's specify a center um, I know it's going to be 4000 the, for the x value and the y value let's call it 3225 and press enter now you see it gives you this weird little um, uh, rectangle so first uh, it's gonna ask you for the width so we're gonna call the width uh, 125 why not 125 millimeter press tab don't press enter press tab and the length so we know our diameter for our uh, heat exchanger is 500 so let's make it um, 450 okay and then it's going to ask you for height okay so before we do height we should okay we know let's make it at 1000 perfect now as you can see just because we didn't have exact location it doesn't look so right but like I said 
you would probably do the support first and you would know the exact location on actual design so let's just make it look kind of approximately the same oh here is a interesting problem now see because my snap-ons are turned on right it keeps on snapping to the original button it doesn't really let me choose another another point so to overcome this you can also turn off your snap-ons by clicking on this little two things or you can also do the control and left kick click and you can say actually and you can choose none then you can just kind of approximate it and to make it look like the bottom bit that's all we care about okay perfect now let's take a look I bet you anything um, AutoCAD has done something odd it's not exactly on this position that we need it to be uh, let's go back to our isometric view uh, yep exactly what I thought okay so let's actually take a look at the realistic view so to change the view again from modeling or home under the view palette under the first drop down choose realistic now here's the problem okay see for some reason I don't know why sometimes it works for me sometimes it doesn't the AutoCAD drew my little box saying that the uh, like the bottom was actually at the it, at the very bottom surface of our grid which is so stupid so fix this is very easy select your box start typing move select a reference point we're gonna select the very bottom point and then snap it onto the top one and done and see this is what I want it to look like so as if it is supporting even though you can see that it actually goes into our object but we don't care because this is an approximation a model and uh, it's not going to be used for any sort of simulation so that's just fine <coughs> so uh, it kind of looks like it supports it now we just have to copy it to the other side okay so let's switch back to our 2d wireframe uh, so we're gonna click on again modeling or home and under the view palette we're gonna click back to 2d wireframe and go back to the top view again oh here so the top view is kind of work I mean you can work in whichever way you want it doesn't matter but I like the other view so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click and drag this little wheel here kinda get it almost all the way to the view and then click on top again and then it kinda levels up which is nice okay so we're gonna select our box and we just wanted to have another one here and we obviously we do want our the support going on top of our beam not just on air grading because grading are not meant to take that sort of load okay so let's just mirror it uh, you can to mirror an object you select the object and start typing mirror uh, and just select that and it's going to ask you to first specify the first point of mirror line and we're going to choose the midpoint of the of our grid line and just drop it on to the next one and it's going to ask you to erase the source object. We're going to click on no and done. Okay, let's take a look. Let's go back to SW isometric view. Let's move it a bit. And also from modeling and view palette, let's change it back to realistic. <coughs> As you can see, now we have our unit. Now, one thing we need to do these are just objects right now there's one heat exchanger and the supports but we want to identify the entire thing uh, as our um, as our uh, equipment so go ahead and select all your equipment so we're going to select the two supports boxes and our heat exchanger and under home go to on the equipment uh, palette go to this one it says um, no not modify says attach equipment so we're gonna click on attach it's gonna say <coughs> select a sig single equipment equipment item so select that one and select this and select this press enter that's it now as you can see our equipment is here now do we have a tag uh, yep we still have a tag so perfect so now you can see that our whole thing is recognized as a equipment perfect so that's all for today on the next video we're possibly going to add some nozzles to our equipment uh, let's take a look what it looks like right now show all perfect 
so everybody should be at this point and uh, if you have any questions should be an email and see you guys next time